Hello, everybody. Welcome to Thursday. The S&P 500 was down 0.2% today. Uh, the CPI report that we've been waiting for came out. It was a little bit higher than expected. So for example, you know, this September versus this August, uh, inflation went up 0.2% on top line CPI. They're expecting 0.1, but 0.2 is still pretty good. If you annualize that out, of course, times 12 is going to be 2.4%, which is still not bad. Again, the Fed doesn't look at the CPI as much as the PCE index, which will come out later this month. Uh, however, uh, when you look at the overall all year over year. So this September versus last September was at 2.4%. That's better than last month. It was at 2.5, but not as good as expected, which was 2.3. <laughs> so nonetheless, uh, you know, not bad numbers. The market, you know, didn't have a really big negative response to that. Uh, but we did have one other number that came out today, which was kind of unusual. First time unemployment claims have been dropping quite nicely over the last about four four weeks or so. They come out every week. Uh, this one jumped. It's actually the highest first time unemployment claims we've seen in a year. Uh, and so that, that's kind of a problem for the Fed. You've got the potential for interest inflation kind of hanging in there, you know, so if that's true, then they wouldn't want to lower rates. And their dual mandate is to have, you know, good employment numbers. Uh, and so if unemployment gets worse, then that means they should lower rates. So I'm sure they'll have a very spirited conversation around this. Uh, we're sort of in that uh, transitionary zone here between inflation, recession, and all those types of things, which is a good place to be it's sort of, a, you know, the soft landing area for all intents and purposes. However, uh, if you look at the meeting, uh, notes from the last Fed meeting. There was a lot of discussion. I'm sure they'll be the same here. Right now, the market is expecting an 87% chance of a one quarter percent cut, um, but that was much higher uh, before we started to get this data coming in. So, uh, nonetheless, you know, we'll have to see how that plays out. So, uh, you know, market's right next to its all time high. Things are going quite well together. I don't think any of these things will change the overall picture of what's going on as far as that goes. Uh, uh, so, you know, we'll have to see how it goes. You look at, you know, what the Fed governors have been saying in their interviews. And for the most part, they've been talking about, you know, making rate cuts this year, one or two more. Uh, and that kind of fits in with what the market's expecting at this point also. So uh, that's how it's happening today. Uh, again, uh, nothing particularly exciting happening as far as that goes, the CPI report, I didn't think was that bad, uh, really. And so look forward to seeing what's going to happen tomorrow. Of course, tomorrow we have the show, uh, Talk Money with Tom, 12.15 to 1 uh, Pacific time. Uh, you can look it up on YouTube and, and join us if you'd like. So and you can ask live questions. And I do a summary for you know what I saw happening in the market at the beginning of the show. Uh, so look forward to seeing you then. Thank you very much.